please press right. left five okay uh, good morning respected teachers and uh, my friends uh, today i am going uh, going to uh, give a credit uh, seminar on uh, vaccine adjuncts uh, my name is uh, sachin gaya these are the outlines of my presentation in which we will uh, see uh, that is the introduction uh, history of adjuncts uh, mechanism of action of uh, adjuncts and then uh, properties of ideal adjuncts uh, uh, various types of adjuncts uh, what are the uh, uses of that adjuncts and uh, safety evaluation regarding after addition of that adjuvant into that vaccine and uh, finally conclusion uh, introduction uh, biological preparation which improves the immunity against uh, some particular disease called as a vaccine uh, it may contain that is uh, it may contain inactivated organism or living organism or uh, antigen extracted from or uh, secreted by infectious agent means these are the uh, subunit vaccines Uh, then uh, plasma dna uh, which means that uh, recombinant dna vaccines are uh, available and uh, finally antigens produced by chemical synthesis in vitro first of all we will see the history of that adjuvant uh, in 1924 uh, a french uh, veterinarian that is the gaston ramon which is uh, which uh, working in a pasteur institute and he observed uh, observed during working that the antibodies production Uh, in immunized horse with the, that is the tetanus toxin and diphtheria toxin uh, were high uh, were high uh, which horses develop injection site uh, granulomas uh, that then uh, he uh, induced a sterile abscess uh, with the help of starch and bread crumbs means uh, means he used that the bread crumbs and starch uh, in addition as a adjuvant and then he observed that there is a higher specific antibody response and this is the photograph uh, of that uh, scientist that is the gaston ramon uh, vaccine adjuncts uh, uh, normally uh, live vaccines are uh, not practical or not available uh, in market or uh, many infectious diseases are not uh, not available for uh, that live vaccine so uh, and uh, uh, and uh, natural infection cannot confer uh, adequate uh, protective immunity regarding that uh, Uh, infection so that's why there is a uh, there is production of uh, kill vaccine or inactivated vaccine uh, kill vaccine or inactivated vaccine but uh, kill vaccines are immunologically uh, very poor that is they produce very low immunogenic, immunogenic response that's why there is a uh, addition of one substance called as adjuvants so after uh, addition of adjuvant it uh, enhances their uh, immune response and gives a protective immunity regarding that disease uh, adjuvant come from latin uh, word that is adjure which means to help or to aid you can uh, we can see in this picture uh, uh, this is a basic uh, difference uh, between that is the ad adjuvanted vaccine and non adjuvanted vaccine uh, you can see uh, after uh, uh, initial innate immune response after injection that is the pmp uh, receptors are there which lacks in infected purified antigen without adjuvant that's why that much of immune response is not produced but in case of injected purified uh, antigen adjuvant you can see in the first stage uh, that is the innate immune response after in second stage that is the interaction of mature antigen presenting cells with t cells you can see there is a, a number of cells uh, formed that is a diverse cd4 t cells you can see here uh, there their number of uh, cells are formed but in case of that uh, without adjuvant there is no that much cells are produced and in third step that is the in adaptive responses with effector cells you can see number of plasma cells white antibody uh, bodies are also produced and memory b cells are also produced but uh, in case of the without adjuvant that is the memory b cells are not produced uh, that much uh, that much so this is a basic difference uh, adjuvants uh, adjuvants are uh, the substance which uh, enhance the immunogenicity of vaccine uh, first of all we will see the what is immunogenicity Uh, immunogenicity means the ability to produce the immune response which is directly depends upon the size of antigen uh, dose of antigen biochemical composition and genotype of recipient animal uh, you can see that is the every antigen differs uh, their immunogenicity so uh, less immunogenic antigen produces uh, less immune response and less antibodies as you uh, we can see in this first picture Less immunogenic after injecting less immunogenic antigen, there is a less immune response is produced and less antibodies are produced. 
but after giving more immunogenic antigen there is production of uh, more immune response as well as more antibody production is there uh, yeah, we can see in a uh, left side uh, picture after injecting very over immunogenic antigens uh, there is a formation of low antibodies and low immune response is there but this very poor immunogenic antigen when added with that adjuvant uh, we can see uh, in that picture that is the high immune response is produced and antibody production also uh, enhanced uh, uh we can see that is the various uh, uh, effects of adjuvants on immune response that is uh, it gives that the high specific antibody production uh, it gives antigen uh, specific clonal expansion uh, in this uh, there will be the generation of cytotoxic t cells uh, and it gives long lasting adaptive immun immunity to the animal and it is a cost effective uh, because the uh, uh, because the, there is production of low antigen with the, that adjuvant that's why it makes antigen more potent and low dose is required but in case of live vaccines we have to uh, we have to uh, there more number of antigens but in adjuvanted vaccine there is uh, there may be low number is essential uh, we will see the mechanism of immune response that is uh, in this picture you can see that is the uh, in left side that is a water in oil emulsion is uh, present that is it is adjuvanted vaccine after injection of this adjuvanted vaccine uh, you can see there is a uh, uh, there, there is attachment of pmp receptor to the cells of innate in immunity pmp means pathogen associated uh, molecular patterns uh, after this uh, there is the activation of prr uh, prr uh, uh, prr activation that is a uh, pattern recognition receptors after that they activate the tlr4 uh, ligands which are the toll like receptor uh, toll like receptors uh, this toll like receptor activates and mature uh, mature the dendritic cells and after activation and maturation of dendritic cell there is a formation of th1 and th2 cell th2 cell that is the th1 cell gives cell mediated immunity and th2 cell gives uh, humoral immunity that is a b cell or antibody immunity uh, same uh, we can see after injecting that is a recombinant protein or cytokines in this also there is only difference that is the formation of pro inflammatory cytokines and pro inflammatory chemokines which activates and mature the dendritic cell and after that there is a immune response is produced that is the th1 and th2 uh, then we will see the what are the uh, ideal properties of that adjuvant uh, that adjuvant should have uh, property uh, it is safe uh, it may be safe, must be safe to use and uh, uh, elicit a protective immune response with uh, weak antigens and stable with regard to adjuvancy and toxicity without any interaction with that antigen so uh, this is not a uh, interaction uh, with that antigen uh, it must be biodegradable and immunologically inert and uh, cheap to produce as i say that is a low uh, uh, antigens are uh, required for that uh, production of uh, adjuvanted vaccine so it is very cheap to produce uh, then uh, what are the uses of adjuvants uh, in conventional vaccines uh, to elicit the uh, immune response we have to add the adjuvants uh, mostly the purified synthetic vaccines which are low or poor immunogenic to enhance their immunogenicity we have to add the adjuvants uh, Adjuvants received much attention due to their ability to selectively modulate the immune response to elicit humoral and cell uh, cellular immune response. This after the addition of these adjuvants in that uh, low poorly immunogenic, uh, immunogenic antigens, there is a response that is the, it elicit the humoral as well as cellular immune response. This is the classification regarding the different types of adjuvants. Uh, you can see that is the, uh, it is the classified into three types. Uh, that is the DMP type. DMP type and particular type. It is based on mode of action. Uh, DMP means damage associated molecular patterns. Uh, PMP means pathogen associated molecular patterns and finally particulate. Alum, emulsion, saponins. These are the examples of DMP. Uh, these are commonly used in veterinary veterinary vaccines. Vaccines that is alum, emulsion, and saponins. Uh, PMP type uh, type. There are uh, example like uh, TLR ligands. That is the toll like. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Sachin. Yes, ma'am. Ah, sorry for interruption. To the hours could be. Take him. 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 Take him.
monophosphate lipid uh, mycobacterial compounds uh, nanoparticles liposomes and immunostimulating complexes these are examples of that adjuncts as uh, you can see uh, we can see in this picture that is the uh, uh, initiation of two uh, pathways that is dmp pathway and pmp pathway after initiation of that uh, uh, that there is activation of innate immunoreceptors which result into the formation of chemokines and chemokines activates the dentitic cells and uh, dentitic cell and maturation of that uh, dentitic cell is uh, present and in we uh, and resulted into the induction of uh, adapt adaptive immune response then uh, you can see in this uh, we can see in this delivery system that is the promotion of vaccine uptake as well as it enhances antigen presentation to the tf cells which result into the induction of adaptive immune responses uh, this is the classification on the basis of adjuvant ct uh, it is mainly classified into three types that is the causing depot formation and the site of injection acting as a delivery vehicles for antigens which may help in targeting antigens to immune competent cells and finally acting as immuno stimulators this is the flow chart regarding the mechanism of action of adjuvant action uh, we can see in this picture uh, after uh, injecting antigen with ad adjuvant that is the ad adjuvanted vaccine uh, there is activation of dendritic cells by two pathways that is the one dmp pathway and uh, another is a pmp pathway uh, but uh, first of all we will see dmp pathway after activation of dendritic cell by dmp pathway there is formation of nodes that is the nucleotide oligomerization domains toll like receptors and inflammasomes and then there is a presentation to the tf cell and uh, in uh, which in which regard uh, there is formation of th1 cells and th2 cells means it gives uh, cell mediated immunity as well as the b cell and antibodies same pathway is uh, happen in the, with regard to the bmp that is uh, activation of dendritic cells presentation to the tf cell and finally formation of cell mediated immunity and b cell and antibodies uh, this is the type of an uh, adjuvant that is aluminum containing adjuvants in which aluminum phosphate aluminum hydroxide alum precipitated uh, precipitated uh, precipitated these are the examples of aluminum containing adjuvant and uh, this is the flow chart regarding the mechanism of action of that uh, aluminum containing adjuvant in in uh, in this picture we can see that is the antigens are there alum precipitated that antigen these uh, these antigens are precipitated by alum so pre precipitation is uh, formed and this precipitation is injected into the animal after injection uh, of that precipitation into the animal the at the site of injection uh, due to the this precipitation there is a uh, minimum contact uh, time and uh, due to which these antigens are slowly re released into the body which resulted into the giving long lasting immunity to that animal so precipitation uh, due to precipitation there is a uh, increase in size of that antigen which resulted into the formation of macrophages and these macrophages gives uh, antigen presentation to the dh cells and which resulted into the formation of immunity or enhance the immune response uh, this is the uh, one uh, vaccine which is uh, added with aluminum hydroxide Uh, uh, which is uh, used against uh, infections like viral infections like infectious bovine rhinotracheitis which is uh, uh, commonly seen uh, in previous years uh, nowadays this is not uh, seen uh, in uh, clinically or in uh, field level then uh, bovine viral diarrhea uh, it is it also uh, we note that this is uh, this is occurs then shipping fever and uh, para influenza virus Uh, MA fifty nine. It is an oil in water emulsion type of uh, adjuvant. Uh, MA fifty uh, nine. Uh, you can we can see in this picture that is the composition of MA fifty nine. That is antigen, squalene, span, twin, and citrate buffer. Uh, squalene is oil which is obtained from shark liver oil and which is a biodegradable and biocompatible oil. Uh, while the span and twin are two non-ionic surfactants with high uh, all contents. and citrate buffer is uh, to maintain the ph this is the flow chart regarding the mechanism of action of that ma59 uh, here we can see in this uh, picture that is the there is a after injection into the muscle activation of cytokine uh, cytokine uh, uh, receptor that is the ccl2 cxcl8 these are the cytokine receptors after uh, activation there is uptake and differentiation of antigens 
and after migration this antigen presentation is presented into the lymph node and with regard that antigen presentation lymph node produce t cell activation t cell activation and uh, which result into the antibody production and it gives the immunity to that animal this ma59 is used in the canine uh, coronavirus vaccine uh, uh, so the ma59 is used in that uh, canine corona, uh, coronavirus vaccine uh, now we will uh, see the fruits adjoint that is the fruit is a scientist uh, uh, who discovered that in 1937 uh, there are two types of uh, uh, fruits adjoints are there that is the fruits incomplete adjoint and fruits complete adjoint Uh, uh, they differ by only a presence of that is killed mycobacteria. In fruits complete adjunct, there is a presence of uh, killed mycobacteria, uh, and in uh, in case of that uh, incomplete adjunct, there is no presence of killed mycobacteria. The mode of action of fruits uh, incomplete adjunct was attributed to depot formation at the site of injection and slow release of antigen with stimulation of antibody producing cells. So uh, it gives long-lasting immunity. Means it said that it is uh, uh, slowly released into the body. That's why it gives long-lasting immunity. Uh, we can see in this picture that is the left side picture that is the fruits incomplete adjunct. Uh, it is made up of that is the antigens in aqueous solution, mineral oil, and emulsifying agent, in which a oil droplet is present to which antigens are attached. Due to this attachment, there is a contact uh, contact time is uh, is uh, slow. That's why these antigens are very slowly released into that body. Uh, then we will see that is the fruits complete action. In this, uh, we uh, we know that the mycobacteria is present, killed mycobacteria. Uh, in this, the muromel diabetes is a uh, content means is present in the cell wall of that mycobacteria. So this muromel diabetes uh, in uh, activates that macrophages, and after activation of that macrophages, it activates two molecules that is MHC class two and BC one molecule. These two molecules gives antigen presentation to that PHS and immune response is produced. These are commercially preparation which are available in market uh, uh, that the fruits incomplete adjunct and fruits complete adjunct. Uh, this is a video regarding how uh, uh, vaccine is produced with the help of that uh, adjunct and how immune response is uh, produced. This is a traditional method uh, that is a double uh, double hub needle is used by which uh, antigen and adjuvant are mixed for 15 minutes. This is a traditional method, but nowadays very uh, advanced machineries are there for uh, mixing of that uh, uh, mixture, mixing that adjuvant with uh, antigen. We can see in this video one ml of fruits adjuvant is taken. Then it is added in seven ml of tube, which contains ceramic beads. And after that, uh, one ml of antigen is uh, added in that preparation. As the fruit surgeons give that uh, protocol, uh, they they said that the one ml of uh, fruit surgeon is uh, for one ml of antigen. Means they said that the equal amount of uh, uh, both are uh, mixed. Then it is mixed with a machine. This is advanced machine which uh, mix it or uh, centrifuge it. This is the protocol regarding the, that machine. So that's why we have to run this machine. After this, uh, the preparation is uh, produced. What is the preparation? That preparation we can readily use as vaccine. After this processing, uh, processing of that uh, machine, this uh, this obtain obtain material. You can we can see in this uh, video that is that obtain material we can use readily as a vaccine. It is a emulsion type, emulsion type of vaccine. Uh, microorganism derived adjuvants. Uh, 
uh, in this the bacterial or fungal substances constitute a productive uh, response uh, 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 productive source of potential adjuvants the adjuvants obtained from our microorganisms are uh, muramil dipeptide lipid a and trialose dimethyl muramil dipeptide is a cell wall content of mycobacteria trialose is also present in bacterial cell wall Uh, in saline, the muramil dipeptide mainly enhances humoral immunity. While when incorporated with the liposomes or mixed with the glycerol, it induces strong cellular immunity. Means uh, muramil dipeptide gives humoral immunity as well as cellular immunity. But uh, after addition of some substances, uh, which which are that adjuvants, and then another uh, uh, another extract from that is I previously said that the trihalose dimethylate, dimethylate, which is a bacterial wall uh, content. Uh, it is uh, used as an adjuvant and which gives both humoral as well as cellular uh, immune response. Uh, bacterial ghost. This is an uh, example of that microorganism derived vaccine, uh, uh, derived adjuvant, uh, in which uh, this bacterial ghost we readily use as adjuvant for DNA or protein based vaccines, or as a micro bioreactors for enzymatic reactions, or as a candidate vaccine against uh, gram negative infections. And as a delivery vehicles for anti-cancer drugs as well as pesticides and foreign antigens. This comes. These are the immunostimulating complexes. Uh, immunostimulating complexes are 14 nanometer large particles made up of saponins, uh, lipids, cholesterol, and antigen held together by hydrophobic interactions between the first three components. In this, the saponin is obtained from the plant Pilgia saponica, and in that plant. Quail is an active ingredient. That's why quail A is used in this vaccine. But this quail A is a toxic to the humans. So that's why these uh, uh, these saponin adjuvant-based vaccines are not uh, used in humans due to its toxicity. The use of uh, saponins, uh, that is, uh, immunostimulating complexes based vaccines, re retains the adjuvant activity of the saponin component but with the reduced toxicity. So that's why it is used in veterinary vaccines due to low toxicity in veterinary. But in case of humans, it is uh, toxic. Uh, the ISCO matrix adjuvant is identical to uh, uh, ISCOM, that is the immunostimulating complex, except that it does not contain antigen. As you can, we can see in this picture, that is the uh, here is the first. Uh, we will see the difference between these two, that is the ISCOM based vaccine and ISCOM matrix vaccine. Uh, it contains uh, Quilliger saponin. Cholesterol and phospholipid, while it contains ISCOM matrix, that is a cage like structure composed with Pilgia, saponin, uh, cholesterol, and phospholipid. After that, uh, means uh, main, uh, main difference is that the ISCOM matrix does not contain antigen. Uh, in third step, that is the activation of phagocytes, and then there is by exogenous pathway at, uh, presentation of MHC class 2 molecule, then, it, uh, then the antigen translocated to the cytosol. And then there is an endogenous pathway. By endogenous pathway, there is a presentation of MHC a class one presentation, which resulted uh, resulted into the uh, immune response. These are the examples which uh, commonly used. That is, the, these are the uh, immunostimulant complex adjuvanted vaccines, uh, mainly the Equilis frequenza and Equilis uh, Equilis frequenza, which contain ISCOM matrix, and it is used as vaccine in veterinary. These are the photographs regarding that vaccine. That is the uh, equine rhinotrochitis influenza vaccine. It gives immunity against that equine rhinotrochitis uh, influenza uh, virus to the equines. Liposomes. Uh, liposomes are the synthetic spheres comprised by lipid bilayers that can encapsulate antigens and act as both vaccine delivery vehicle and adjuvant. Means it acts as a uh, adjuvant as well as a delivery vehicle. Uh, both humoral and cell mediated immune response uh, given by that and liposomes. Uh, we uh, we can see in this picture uh, that is the mechanism of action of that liposomes. It is divided into four steps. That is the delivery of antigens, report effect, uh, repetitive antigen display, and cross presentation. Uh, after the, uh, after the entering, there is the antigen presentation in first step. In uh, in response to that, macrophages are uh, produced in second step. And then, uh, due to this macrophages, there is a production of long-lived, high-affinity neutralizing antibodies, which gives immunity to that uh, animal. And in fourth stage, there is a formation of the CD 
CD uh, CD8 T cells that is heterodox T cells, and uh, it resulted into the giving uh, immunity to that animal. This is the chart regarding that the uh, these are the number of vaccines which are used in poultry diseases. That is for the prevention of Newcastle disease. Uh, Newcastle disease. We use uh, liposome attenuated vaccines. That is the inactivated vaccine which contain liposomes. Uh, these are the list of that uh, vaccines which commonly we use in Newcastle disease. Uh, nucleic acid based adjuvants means it contains bacterial DNA uh, in that uh, in that adjuvant. This is the mechanism regarding that uh, nucleic acid based uh, DNA. We can see it is divided into four steps. That is adjuvants, sensors, uh, adapters, and immune response. Uh, these cytosol uh, sensors, or uh, you you can see that is the these are the cytosol uh, sensors uh, of uh, double stranded DNA. That is the C gas, DAI, GDX41, IF116. Uh, these are the cytosol sensors which activates the sting and TBK1, which gives uh, humoral and cell mediated immunity. And then there is a presence or uh, formation of Th1, Th2, uh, cytotoxic T cells and uh, B cells. Uh, mucosal adjuvants. The main function of mucosal adjuvants is breaking the tolerance and inducing an immune response. This is the basic, basic uh, function of that mucosal adjuvants. Uh, we can see in this picture that is uh, uh, there are numbers that is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. These are the pathways by which antigen uh, pass the mucosal membrane. So we can see that is the first that is the tra uh, trans uh, epithelial uh, pathway. Uh, in second, that is the transcellular pathway. In third, that is the goblet cell pathway. In fourth, by trans epithelial dendritic cell pathway. Uh, in fifth, that is the M cell pathway. In sixth, that is the intra epithelial dendritic uh, cell pathway. And in seventh, that is the uh, dead cell pathway. After by this, uh, the, uh, there is an uh, antigen present presentation in the lymph nodes. And in response to that antigens, there are production of these uh, immune responses. Uh, cytokines. Cytokines are small proteins uh, that are released in response to the immunological stimuli and function in regulating immune activity and homeostasis. These are uh, mostly present in the uh, body. Uh, after injecting that uh, cytokine uh, adjuvants in the animal's body, in the muscle there is a cell death or damage, a cell damage, after which it uh, activates that is a DMP release and a secretion of interleukin-1 family cytokines. This happens simultaneously. After that, there is activation of uh, resident cells by DMP release and finally formation of T cells and which gives immunity to that animal. Uh, now we see the hurdles, means the, which are the commonly problems uh, in development of that adjuvants. That is the limited adjuvancy. Uh, for example, some uh, uh, adjuvants are uh, working in some diseases or not. This uh, and then animal models and a uh, problem with acids. Uh, there are some side effects of that uh, adjuvants. Uh, that is the toxicity and adjuvant activity must be balanced to obtain maximum uh, immune uh, stimulation with minimal adversity. This is the main aim during the formation of that adjuvanted vaccines. Then uh, there are lo some local reactions may be produced. That is the uh, uh, inflammatory response, local pain and tissue lysis and granulomas and hypersensitivity reaction are produced. But in case, uh, I want to tell, uh, in case of the cats, there is a formation of fish, that is the uh, feline injection site sarcomas. But uh, uh, there are no any uh, reference regarding that the, due to this adjunct, this uh, disease is uh, occurred in that cats. So uh, there is a formation of one uh, vaccine, which is without uh, adjuncts, that is the pure vac vaccine. Uh, uh, before going to the conclusion, I want to uh, say that the, during this huge pandemic of uh, coronavirus, that is COVID, uh, India's first uh, and largest uh, India's first vaccine is produced, that is the Covaxin. And in their key facts, they given that the Covaxin is included along with immunopotentiator and also known as vaccine adjuvants, and which are added to the vaccine to increase, uh, increase and boost its immunogenicity. So in that co-vaccine, uh, adjunct is added, which is uh, named as uh, aluminum hydroxide. Uh, so it is the Indian uh, vaccine. In uh, in United States, uh, state, one vaccine is produced, that is a Nova, uh, Nova vaccine. 
that no has adjuvants also uh, added that is the aluminum hydroxide and uh, another one vaccine is uh, produced by hyderabad institute that is the uh, covid uh, uh, bio e covid 19 which also contain a uh, adjuvant uh, this is the content of that covaxin it it contain that is the uh, whole virion inactivated sars covid antigen and uh, and other inactive and ingredients such as aluminum hydroxide which is used as adjunct in that vaccine uh, this is the uh, these are two vaccines which are uh, produced by uh, bharat biotech that is these are the indian vaccines that is the covaxin content adjunct but uh, in this uh, covid uh, it is a uh, recombinant uh, vaccine that's why in that uh, there is no need to addition of that adjunct but uh, we uh, we observed that the in pov shield that is the uh, sometimes may reactions may occur that is the high temperature uh, or uh, uh, omission or uh, another side effects are uh, there for uh, uh, sometimes but in covaxin there are no any side effects because these adjuvants are uh, safely introduced and uh, we must know uh, what are the ad uh, adjuvants that uh, added in that uh, covid vaccine that's why i incorporated this uh finally i am uh, uh, conclusion uh adjuvants are essential for the development of new and improved vaccines and uh, for development of successful vaccine adjuvants has been a constant balancing act between safety immunogenicity delivery and immunization for design and selection of new adjuvants we must understand the mechanism of adjuvancy development of appropriate delivery systems so uh, in huge that huge pandemic uh, adjuvants are used in that covaxin so this is uh, this is my uh, conclusion regarding that vaccines these are some photographs uh, which uh, we use in clinics for uh, disease prevention uh, that is you can see uh, it is it is a encephalomyelitis rabies based style virus vaccine which is for uh, equines and it is uh, it is a adjuvanted vaccine in this aluminum hydroxide is used uh, uh you can see in the second picture that is hemorrhagic septicemia uh, vaccine that is it contains uh, aluminum hydroxide uh, they mention their uh, content in that uh, vaccine and it is for prevention of hemorrhagic septicemia septicemia and it given uh, 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 after 6 month of age and then uh, before the uh, monsoon season annually uh, then it is a blue tongue vaccine uh, which, which is in inactivated it also contain that uh, aluminum hydroxide and it, it prevent uh, the animal uh, from the bluting uh, disease uh, you can see that is the uh, raksha ova uh, it is a trivalent vaccine uh, that is the foot and mouth disease for uh, prevention of foot and mouth disease uh, they mentioned there that is the mineral oil adjunct uh, is used for that vaccine so it gives immunity against that uh, uh, foot and mouth disease and uh, we normally foot and mouth disease uh, vaccination done at 3 uh, month of age uh, of calf uh, and in 3 uh, uh, weeks of age actually 3 weeks of age uh, we vaccinate that uh, animal and uh, uh, right side uh, vaccine that is the combined clostridium perfusion and uh, tetanus vaccine inactivated uh, this is a raksha et and tt vaccine which is for uh, goats and uh, they use aluminum hydroxide as a uh, adjunct then uh, nobivac coraza it is uh, 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 for uh, uh, prevention of poultry diseases that is the coraza and they used the oil emulsion for their uh, vaccine uh, as a adjunct uh, then there is a porcelis pcv id it is uh, for um, pigs only and they use the oil adjunct for uh, their uh, a their uh, enhancement of immune response that is they mentioned there that is the emulsion is oil adjuvants are used and this is uh, for the uh, many viral diseases to prevent the disease uh, for uh, that pigs and it is given uh, intradermally they mentioned there that it it only go by intradermally then uh, rabies vaccine that is the rabigen and uh, nobivac these two vaccine contain aluminum hydroxide in their uh, uh, in their preparation that is in their content and both are the field vaccines so they contain the aluminum hydroxide as i previously mentioned that is the one pure vax pure vax vaccine is there which is for the cats only and this is a adjunct free vaccine uh, especially i mentioned because uh, in cats uh, some uh, some people say that uh, there is a formation of is that is a feline injection site sarcoma 
at a site of uh, uh, where we vaccinate there is sarcoma development is there so this is the safe vaccine uh, that is the pure vax vaccine which is produced by boringer and uh, uh, it gives uh, immunity and that is rabies fell and leukemia and fell and pan leukemia virus to the cats then uh, this is enterotoxemia uh, vaccine uh, which gives uh, immunity against that is enterotoxemia and it it contains oil adjuvant uh, then uh, pulpy vax it gives the immunity against that is a pulpy kidney disease that is enterotoxemia and it it they mentioned that they they used oil adjuvant for that vaccine then in nobilis the, it is a um, vaccine uh, against the diseases that is the rio virus infection infectious bursa, uh, uh, bursitis or uh, uh, newcastle disease and this is the vaccine uh, which is uh, emulsion uh, means in that uh, oil emulsion is used as an adjuvant uh, this is the one vaccine uh, which is uh, against the prostatal infections and it is uh, it it contain that is they mentioned there that is absorbed in, onto aluminum hydroxide chain that is aluminum hydroxide is used uh, and this gives protection against the uh, uh, prostatal infection this is the list uh, which uh, which gives protection uh, for the poultry diseases against uh, newcastle disease infectious bursal disease or fowl cholera these are the various uh, preparations which contain uh, which contain oil emulsion that is they used in all this in this all the vaccine there is oil emulsion used as an adjuvant to enhance the immune response Uh, these are my references thank you thank you sachin for such a nice presentation the topic is open for discussion please sachin yes suruvatila to tujha abhinandan khup changla prakare tu preparation kelas ani tujha slide presentation explanation khup chan hota tasach me तसेच मी डिपार्टमेंटचे डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर बोरीकर सर आणि तुझ्या कोर्स टीचर मॅडम यांचं पण अभिनंदन करतो की त्यांनी तुझ्याकडून खूप चांगल्या प्रकारे पीपीटी आणि मटेरियल तयार करून घेतलं माझा एकच क्वेश्चन आहे मला हे म्हणायचं आहे व्हॉट आर दी मेन इंडस्ट्रीज दॅट प्रोड्यूस अँटीजन सांगू शकतो हा सर म्हणजे भरपूर कंपन्या आहेत ज्या की प्रोड्यूस करतात मेनली क्रोडा क्रोडा इंडस्ट्रीज और एम एस डी हेल्थ और झुटीस and uh, spi pharma in uh, these are the uh, major industries uh, which produce that uh, adjuvants and croda is a very uh, uh, means it is it working from uh, 80 years it is the oldest industry uh, which uh, which uh, pro, uh, which uh, products which they provide uh, provide or production of the adjuvants okay. is there any reference regarding use of the ad adjuvant vaccine in live vaccine Uh, yes sir matlab uh, means uh, uh, in live vaccine there is no uh, no matlab there is no need to add the adjuvants because they are uh, uh, that much uh, immunogenic response are produced means they produce that much immune response so there is no need of addition of adjuvants but uh, but i gone through one uh, article uh, which is uh, published in 2010 that is they used brucella vaccine means brucella vaccine uh, with that uh, adjuvant and they uh, finally conclude that the immune response is very good and uh, they must they can add that uh, adjuvant in that live vaccines means in brucella vaccine adjuvant vaccine is used yes sir okay, okay. Ah, yes sir yeah, yes sir in brucella vaccine they uh, they uh, they trial one uh, trial then it trial ke liye aaye sir then okay 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 right right good very good from my thank side you. okay thank you sachin sachin yes sir uh, how you classify how you classify your topic is it a uh, uh, old one or it is a uh, new and advanced one and again now what is the significance or importance of your topic why you have selected such a topic first sir, whether uh, it is a uh, uh please 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 go on. yes sir yes sir sir as i am a student of uh, preventive medicine uh, as a prophylactic measure i want to give a vaccine to prevent the diseases so during this uh, vaccination 
I must know the what are the contents of that vaccine, how it vaccine works on that animal. That's why I uh, chosen this topic. And so uh, now in the we can see that the in uh, Covivax, that is in Corona vaccine, they also use the adjuvant. And this is the need for the preparation of new vaccines. That is adjuvant must be added so uh, immune response can enhance or give protective immunity to an animal or humans. So how you classify your topic? Is it a, a old one, new one, or it is an advanced one, or it is a recent one? Sir, it is a new one topic. It's not new one. It is the oldest one. It is from 1924. Means from Gaston Diamond. It is continued. And uh, nowadays also, this is a uh, means a trending type. That is uh, in uh, Corona vaccine, they use uh, aluminum hydroxide as an adjuvant. So we can uh, cannot say that is it is a very old one. This is a recent one, not uh, uh, advanced or only uh, my opinion is that it is a recent one and okay. old also. Now, now just say final answer whether it is old one or recent one. The recent one. What else recent are there in your topic? Uh, Sunit sir. Yes, sir, I, I uh, included in my PPT that is the Corona vaccine uh, is used. Uh, of that aluminum hydroxide and uh, many human as well as the uh, veterinary vaccines are uh, with the help of that adjuvant are used uh, and uh, prepared. What from, is the uh, com composition of uh, vaccine, Sachin? What is the composition of vaccine? Sir, in killed, uh, killed vaccine, there are uh, killed, uh, killed uh, organisms are there, but uh, that killed uh, uh, organisms are obtained by purification of that antigen. Due to that purification method, there is a low immunogen uh, immunogenic response is produced. Yes, yes, That's why yes. adjuncts are added question. in that. Listen yes, my question. What is the composition of vaccine? Apart from killed organisms, does it contain any additional constituent in the vaccine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, there are addition of uh, some uh, antibiotics like uh, streptomycin or gentamicin. And sometimes preservatives are and uh, one preservative that the name uh, uh, immersal um, means I am not recalling that uh, that is added as a preservative means preservative uh, sometimes antibiotics and these adjuncts and uh, killed uh, uh, killed uh, killed organisms are uh, are the contents of that vaccine. Which vaccines usually are added with adjuncts, preferably? Uh, killed vaccines, sir. sir. Uh, yes. Okay. Does the surfactant differs from adjuvants? Any idea? Uh, no, sir. Uh, in some adjuvant, there is a use of that surfactant. It binds that antigens. Means uh, it uh, it helps to binding of that antigen to that of the adjuvant uh, uh, to which that immune response may elicit. Okay. Just just pronounce this as a immune response. This is one thing, Sachin. Yes, immune asamanchil. Okay, immune immune asa hote tuja karna. Ani brusal brusal na komonu brusal disease asaman. Okay. Ani anki ek the last question from my side. Uh, you have uttered the word as a one abbreviation as a CD4. Just focus some light on this CD4. What does it mean? What sir? I cannot hear. CD4. CD4 as a two to the present. CD4. Uh, these are the cells that is the cytotoxic T cells which are uh, produced by cytokine uh, cytokines. Uh, these are the killer T cells which are uh, helpful for the immunity, means that they give uh, cell mediated immunity. First, get my question please clearly. I am asking what is the CD stands for? No, sir. I, I don't know. It is a surface molecule. It's a cluster of differentiation. Okay. As sir. if what we used to see the pimples on the face of human being. Similar yes, sir. to that, cell two possesses some immune complexes called CD, cluster of differentiation. Okay. Okay. Sir. Uh, upon presentation, Karvastana, whatever abbreviations, whatever such uh, uh, molecules or any any kind of a thing, if it comes, you try to get first yourself. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Uh, Rest everything was fine. Uh, very good from my side. Very good. Thank you. Sir. Okay, Sachin. Yes, I, Sachin. First, I, uh, Sachin. I uh, presentation. Nice presentation. My first question is that what is mean by this F I S S? 
Ma'am, this is the feline injection site sarcoma. It uh, some mean uh, means in uh, some people say that is it is due to the addition of adjoint that is the aluminium. Uh, it may cause, but uh, no reference is there uh, regarding that uh, these adjoints are responsible for that uh, fish. That's why one vaccine is produced that is the pure vax, which is adjoint free vaccine. Uh, only in case of that uh, cancer. Mm -hmm. Second question is that um, can you name any one vaccine which is free from the adjuvant? That is ma'am uh, pure vax vaccine, which is produced by boring there. Uh, pure vax vaccine, which is an adjuvant free vaccine, and uh, it is a killed vaccine. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Any other question from staff and students, please? Sir, please, sir, please. Ah, yes, have... definitely, definitely. <coughs> Welcome. Uh, first of all, I uh, appreciate, I, I can put my appreciation for Sachin. Thank uh, you, sir. His main, uh, given his direction of uh, preparing the presentation. Very nice presentation. The style of presentation is also very nice. Thank you, sir. Uh, since uh, from the beginning, I am... Uh, listening in your uh, presentation, alum aluminium hydroxide. Yes. Can you can you tell any other adjuvants also? Chemical? Yes, sir. Uh, oil adjuvant, saponin, uh, fruits adjuvant, uh, mucosal adjuvants, uh, cytokine adjuvants. Uh, uh, have you heard about aluminium hydroxide, hydroxyphosphate sulfate? A A yes. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, you have not mentioned then aluminium phosphate is also there. Yes, yes. Uh, sir, uh, aluminum phosphate is now... Aluminum sulfate is also there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then ASO4 is also there, aluminum salt. So, yes, sir, uh, yes. uh, that I was expected, one important yes, thing. Yes, now, yes, you please tell me yes, who this adjuvant along with antigen generate the immune uh, response. Yes, sir. Hmm. Please, please uh, describe it. How the adjuvant along with this antigen, isn't it? How ah, yes, it sir. helps to improve the immune system or immunity? Uh, sir, I am taking uh, one example that is the like uh, in oil adjuvant. In that, uh, or uh, in fruit adjuvant, in that uh, what happened, that is the antigens are attached to that oil. So that's why they are released very slowly. Uh, uh, before the antigen presentation to the TH cells, these adjuncts uh, activate that immune response. That is the they activate that is the Th1 cells or Th2 cells before antigen presentation uh, in that cell. So uh, likewise, that uh, immune response is enhanced and produced. Okay, okay, very nice, very nice. Now, uh, can you <clears throat> uh, elaborate the role of cytokines? Cytokines. Yes, or sir. Chemo chemokines. Anyway, cytokines okay. or chemokines. The cytokines are the proteins which are uh, which are producing uh, in the body, which uh, uh, which are uh, act as a immune uh, immune cells. And I uh, included my PPT. That is the uh, how mechanism is produced. That is the it is uh, activated by two pathways. That is the one is a DMP pathway, and another is a there is a activation of uh, uh, T cells, mm -hmm. and by which uh, it gives immunity to, to that animal. Yes, yes. I want that two pathways. Very nice. Uh, yes, have sir. you heard about uh, spray adjuvants? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I I gone through that. These are the but, pesticides but, uh, which you, are you used. You might have for... not uh, included in your presentation spray adjuvants. Uh, sir, this is the part of agri agriculture. That's why I not. Uh... Okay, okay. It's all right. Just time. Yes, sir. Yes. That is the agriculture part. That's why I not incorporated my PPT. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Huh. So have you heard? You have yes, heard sir. that? Okay, okay. Yes, yes, sir. Now, uh, the very uh, means important question is that are adjuvants are safe? What do you think? Yes, sir. These are safe. Uh, there is no any reference that it uh, causes any reaction or uh, any uh, harmful effects. But sometimes no. uh, may local no, reaction. I, I, may... I don't want any references, uh, Dr. Sachin. Yes, I sir. want your uh, means uh, this uh, conclusion or uh, your understanding, whatever it may be. No, no, sir. Are, uh, are all adjuvants are safe? 
yes sir uh, all adjuncts are said but some are uh, toxic to that uh, particular species or particular uh, animal that is i uh, incorpor incorporated that the saponin adjuncts are uh, very toxic ah. to that uh, any uh, humans that's, that's why I'm asking you, you are not categorized and uh, the toxic adjuncts isn't it now yes, sir, yes. Uh, what do you think what is your logic is that aluminum what is aluminum Aluminum is a element that is the in periodic periodic no, no. is at what is it is biochemical what sir uh, whether it is metal uh, non metal what is aluminum sir it is a metal metal very good so uh, what do you know about the permissible limits or toxic toxic limits of aluminum uh, sir uh, it may occur uh, toxicity but uh, due to that uh, uh, at higher number and as a metal it is uh, means it uh, not uh, that much harmful and uh, we add that aluminum uh, in uh, proportions means which is given by that uh, company so that's why there is uh, no I any uh, that level what uh, so tacha sathi ke nahi sachin tacha sathi tula tacha permissible limits maiti pahije hoti yes sir yes to microgram per ml parantha japan 6 microgram uh, means above 6 microgram it is uh, harmful the animal or uh, animal or humans yes it is harmful or toxic uh, uh, above 6 microgram uh, microgram per ml yes sir yes pp b madhe yeti ha okay <coughs> very nice uh, once again i congratulate you thank you sir thank you sir deliberation thank you thank you sir any other question ha yes yes hello ha bolita sir hello ha 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 bolita suraj sir suraj sir suraj sir bol raha hai hello hello ha bola suryanshi sir vichara sir you are not uh, audible sachin yes sir uh, you have uh, just now mentioned to dr gangne sir that uh, cd4 cells they are responsible for activating cytotoxic cells uh, is it true or any uh, means sir uh, 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 adjuncts produce cellular immunity but sometimes it will produce uh, that uh, cd4 cells or uh, that uh, means cytotoxic cells these are not uh, means uh, not produced uh, in every adjuncts uh, sometimes it may produce i would like to correct over here that cd4 cells they are helpful for activation of t helper cells and not cytotoxic cells okay okay sir. these are the cd8 cells which are responsible for causing cytotoxic cell activation yes sir uh, and one more thing i would like to ask you that you, uh, you are telling that uh, these uh, Uh, fruits, uh, fruits complete adjuvant. If you are uh, administering, whether uh, it will be responsible for giving the tuberculin test positive in these animals? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Positive. In case of uh, cattle, there are uh, positive for tuberculin test. That's why we do not uh, add fruits complete adjuvant. We add fruits incomplete adjuvant in animals. That's why this uh, problem is not uh, created. It's not happen. So where can we use these uh, fruits uh, complete adjuvant? sir these are uh, used in uh, humans uh, means uh, in very old old uh, old days but nowadays these these are not used but nowadays these are not used okay a very good nice presentation nice collection sachin thank you sir thank you okay congratulations thank you sir thank you thank you sir ha oh. vankade sir tumhi kai manat hota सर एक क्वेश्चन सेमिनार संपू ना सर प्लीज एक तरी क्वेश्चन उद्या स्टूडेंट साइड विद्यार्थ्याच्या वतीने मी विचारतो सर येस सर विद्यार्थ्याच्या वतीने मीच विचारू का 
तुम्ही पण विचारा आणि विद्यार्थ्यांनाही विचारू द्या वन वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम तुम्ही विचारा ठीक आहे नाही नाही काही हरकत नाही छान सचिन थोडस आणखी रिडिंग अपेक्षा जास्त वाढल्या तुझ्याकडनं ओके नॉल इट्स व्हेरी गुड थँक्यू सर सो एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्टुडंट